Kane and Alessia Minkus, and we're here with our the, kids. Yeah, with our kids, as we live most of our life as we run our companies. We're on the island of Sardinia where we spend about uh, four months of the year yeah. with the kids. We love it here. It's part of Alessia's heritage since she's Italian. She's originally from Rome, but grew up coming here. So we spend the summers here. It's magnificent here. And in order to do that, we continue our business. We continue our lives. We continue our investing. We continue what we're doing. Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Rock Your Week. It is Kane Minkus here, great to have you here. Hope you are excited to be here for Monday, August 30th, rocking your week. I'm super excited to have you here. Hi everybody, wow, we are on first lap of the Elevate Mastermind. How amazing. So Leslie and I practice and we research uh, conscious parenting. And what conscious parenting is, is essentially just bringing a lot of awareness to uh, kids and their developmental stages and how as parents we can really support them. One of the foundation of conscious parenting is that we see our kids from the moment they're born, so from the moment they're actually infants, and you know, you could say they're not capable of much and they are, um, you know, they're like tiny little things that can do that much. Well, we chose to see them as capable beings from day one. And so we interact with them with the same respect that we would um, give an adult. So um, I want to actually just have you hear from our daughter. I actually would love to hear what she has to say about the life that we have designed for them because it's been very consciously created. So, Branya, how do you like living in different places since we live in a few different places around the, the planet each year? It's exciting, especially when we go uh, to a different place because I never know what what I'm going to find there. And so when I find it, like, it's really exciting because I'm like, this is a new thing. Like, let's try it. And a lot of people ask us about this, uh, how we school our kids and what we do with them. We don't school them, we educate them. That's, the <laughs> that's first right, thing. That's, that's right. We unschool them, is that what we gotta do that? Um, yeah, and then we, we, that's right, we educate them. And there's a, there's a big difference to us um, because both Alessi and I did not follow traditional educational systems. Um, and, we did, and when we did, we didn't like them. So we're at one of our favorite restaurants in the island of Madalena, and uh, we've come here for maybe five years. Every time we come here, without asking, they give us the exact same table in the exact same place. It's kind of the routine of the culture here, right? If, if, it, if it works, it becomes tradition, it becomes ritual, which is very important to business as well, right? Okay, you want the risotto, the primi, and the coco. Not only do we teach our children to create exactly what they want in their life, but we have been designing our day, our weeks, our months, and our years for years to look exactly as we want on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. Even with uh, kids' nutrition, we're particularly, I don't know if you want to call it conscious, but just uh, very, very specific. They eat no gluten, they eat no refined sugar, they eat um, no soy. Um, we eat very much, um, you know, everything is organic, whole foods. Um, so low grains. Low grains. If not no grains. She does kind of a no grain diet. Hard for me to follow the no grain diet, but we get close. Um, also, very little red meat. We mostly do fish. Um, oils that we choose, temperatures that we cook at, everything's very, very uh, arranged and organized. This is a side of us that's really big because every day we either love to prepare our own meals. Every day we eat. Every day we eat. <laughs> yes, you do too. Several times a day. <laughs> but we also believe that food is a huge part of uh, us having great energy, having great aura, having great clarity, and having uh, high performance capability as leaders. And so we're very, very serious about that. And today, I think we try to work out maybe about 30 minutes a day. Yeah. So, because that's about all the time that we can really devote to it. Yeah, and we rotate between yoga, some Pilates, uh, running, um, and of course, some strength training with like weightlifting, etc. And we have a, a promise to each other to stay fit for the rest of our lives. Yep. 
So we have, since we met, been very vocal in appreciation. We do this with our children as well. We're very expressed with our appreciation. And we keep gratitude and appreciation very alive throughout the day. You know, there's these exercises where you practice gratitude, you practice appreciation. And one of the things we think that a lot of people miss is they have to step into that. And then the rest of the day, they're unconsciously complaining or judging. Well, we keep that alive constantly. And we're constantly complimenting, appreciating, um, engaging that. So that becomes a very patterned uh, behavior for us. And we're at a point now where even when we're arguing, there's, a, there's sort of this, there's this level of appreciation that rides uh, above the, the argument. From international travel to international education, from luxury to health, we have always lived a life that has absolutely fed our soul and got us unbridled enthusiasm to get up every single day and go on and take out the world.